Hello, what's up guys? It's uh, Sinotic here and uh, welcome to another settings video for the PCSX2 emulator. This time Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2. So yeah, we're just going to go quickly over it. I'm using the Vulkan, uh, the new Vulkan API and uh, everything here is pretty much standard. I'm using an 8x native because the uh, 6x looks kind of blurry for these games. As well as uh, basic mid mapping and preload textures, alright? If you have a good C uh, a good GPU, you can use this setting right here. If you have uh, if your CPU is bottlenecking your system a bit, and you can do the same right here for uh, the other way around. If your CPU is good but your GPU is not that good, okay. So uh, quickly over to the uh, general settings right here for emulator. All right, so uh, everything here is uh, pretty much default, except for when you come to the general settings uh, window right there. You want to have a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio for both of these games. And uh, for the for Ratchet & Clank 1, you want to use the standard 4x3 uh, FMB aspect ratio override. This is because of uh, how the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes are displayed in that game. They're all in 4x3, so if you have 16 uh, 9 or uh, default, all of them will be stretched. And you don't want that, guys. Here is actually the most important settings. You definitely want to have this on right there. Gives a really good performance. If you have over 3 cores, I got the 5900X with 12 cores, so definitely going to help. And this right there is actually the setting that helped me get so much more performance out of these games. You want to have this set to 2. If you have a CPU that's uh, as powerful as mine. And uh, if not, you're just going to have to experiment, guys. Just go in between these two. 1 and 2 and just see how the game performs overall. Go to a planet where there's some stuttering around that you have noticed and just experiment. Uh, also, if you have a really bad CPU and the game uh, slows down, you can try to use minus 1 right here guys. It will reduce the CPU requirements and these ones right here will increase the CPU requirements, okay? But it will uh, use more of your CPU. So yeah guys, that's the settings. At the end of the video right there is some examples with the uh, EE cycle rate uh, turned off and on. And uh, at the end of the video it's some uh, Silver City gameplay for those of you who want uh, to see some gameplay as well. So yeah guys, take care, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any uh, questions feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer as fast as possible. Have a nice day everyone and uh, bye bye.
sorry. 